Good day, students. Everybody probably knows something about heat. We often use the word to describe something that feels hot when we touch it or to describe a hot day. This lesson focuses on heat and work. It aims to explain how heat can be turned into work. Have you ever touched a hot pot? What happens when you touch it? It burns your hand because the heat energy is transferring from the hot pot to your hand. Your hand was much cooler than the hot pot. Heat energy always travels from a hotter substance to a colder substance. Heat is a form of energy that is transferred from one body to another as the result of a difference in temperature. In the case of a glass of water with ice, the water is warmer than the ice. So, heat will flow from the water to the ice. Heat is simply the transfer of energy from a hot object to a colder object. Heat and temperature often confuse with one another. Temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. Heat, once again, is the transfer of energy from the hotter object to the colder object. Thermodynamics is the science that study the relationship between heat, work, temperature, and energy. It deals with the transfer of energy from one place to another and from one form to another. Thermodynamics comes from the word thermo, which means heat, and dynamics, which means motion. Do you know this man? He is James Prescott Jewell. He was an English physicist and mathematician. He studied the nature of heat and discovered its relationship to mechanical work. This led to the law of conservation of energy, which in turn led to the development of the first law of thermodynamics. The first law of thermodynamics states that the change in internal energy of a system equals the difference between the heat taken in by a system and the work done by the system. According to the first law of thermodynamics, the total amount of energy in the universe is constant. Energy can be transferred from place to place or transformed into different forms, but it cannot be created or destroyed. The transfer and transformation of energy takes place around us all the time. For instance, light bulbs transform electrical energy into light energy, and gas stoves transform chemical energy from natural gas into heat energy. Plants perform one of the most biologically useful transformations of energy of Earth. They convert the energy of sunlight into the chemical energy stored within organic molecules. Living organisms have evolved to obtain energy from their surroundings in forms that they can transfer into usable energy to do work. When we talk about heat, we need to consider two things, the system and the surroundings. The system is the part of the universe that we are going to study. 
while surroundings refers to everything else. In our example, the ice cube is the system and the surroundings include the air and the surface where the cube is on. The heat is leaving the surroundings and moving into the ice cube. The ice cube absorbs the heat from the surroundings which causes it to melt. Internal energy of a substance is the sum of the molecular kinetic energy due to the random motion of the molecules. The molecular potential energy due to the forces that act between the atoms of a molecule and between the molecules and the other kinds of molecular energy. Now, let's talk about the first law equation. Delta U is equal to Q minus W. Delta U refers to the change in internal energy. Heat is represented by Q. It refers to the amount of heat flowing into the system. W refers to work done by the system. This formula is derived from the conservation of energy given as how heat is related to work. Joule is used as the SI unit for energy. Many power plants and engines operate by turning heat energy into work. The reason is that a heated gas can do work on mechanical turbines, causing them to move. The first law of thermodynamics applies the conservation of energy principle to systems. Where heat transfer and doing work are the methods of transferring energy into and out of the system. Now, what is the difference between spontaneous and spontaneous process? In a spontaneous process, heat flows from higher temperature to a lower temperature. It does not require any external energy to occur. Example, melting of ice at a room temperature. In a spontaneous process, heat flows from lower temperature higher temperature. It needs mechanical energy to occur. Example, water freezing. And that's it. And that ends our lesson about heat and work. I hope you learned something new today.